tasks like these are considered too dangerous for women. Most engineering firms would rather hire men to climb rooftops and install heavy equipment. But Ada Solom, executive director of Rensource, a Lagos-based energy company, is unlike most bosses. Some of our company's top engineers are female. People are not comfortable with women carrying out physical activities for, for, for engineering work. Um, but that doesn't mean women aren't interested in it. They're just not given the opportunity to. And people do feel fairly strongly about it. So we've actually had um, a husband call. Um, someone's husband called me and informed me not to let his wife um, ever climb a roof. <laughs> Even though that's exactly what she wanted to do. Qualified female engineers are hard to find in Nigeria, primarily because men with an engineering degree far outnumber women. Good news are Kindele and Esther Adigbaju are two of 11 female civil engineers working at Rensource. Both say proving themselves to their male counterparts has been exhausting, but it has kept them motivated. People see me on rooftops and always looking at me and their eyes are always on me. Of course, it could be weird and challenging, but then those are things that actually have made me want to continue and be better at what I do. People have the stereotype about female engineers, but the fact that I can actually do it is very, very exciting and it's fulfilling for me. Rensers has trained every female field engineer that's hired from scratch. An investment Ada Solum says most engineering companies deem economically unviable. In Nigeria, it is particularly difficult because oftentimes your, your, your priority as a business is to grow and to hit your numbers. So the idea of um, focusing on gender ratios or anything like that um, sometimes feels like a distraction. Rensource intends to bring more female engineers on board and in turn change gender-based perceptions, one step at a time. Adeshewa Josh, TRT World.